Hey there, hello and welcome. It's Madeline here. And I'm just back from a family gathering. And it's a family gathering that I've been looking forward to for a couple of months now, right? So Christmas was canceled-ish because we had some sadness over the holidays and a couple of the people and a couple of my family members tested positive for COVID and I do that for a reason because we know that the PCR tests are meaningless, but I'll talk about that in, in, another, in another post, right? So we didn't gather over the holidays and for New Year's Day, my cousins and my godmother usually have this uh, wonderful feast where my whole family comes together and I see all of one side of my family. And it's one of my favorite days of the year. So this year it was canceled because, or rescheduled because of COVID and we had it today, right? So today I spent the afternoon with my family. My cousins and my godmother made this, you know, made this beautiful feast for us, my aunts and uncles, were there, my cousins were there, my little baby cousins were there, and it was so good to see them. And that's the point that I wanna share today, right? Is that it was so good to see them. There was so much love in that room. There was so much connection in that room. There was so much good food <laughs> in, in that room. But particularly, I wanna talk about the love in the room, right? So, you know, we've been staying away from each other. We've been being instructed that human connection is, human contact is bad for us, is dangerous, isn't safe. And just the opposite, right? There was so much love in that room today. I, I'm feeling really good. And I got to hug and kiss and touch my cousins. And especially my, I got to hug and kiss my godmother, my aunt, and my uncle, all of who are, you know, in their late 70s, early, mid 80s. And, you know, we've got to hug and kiss each other every chance that we get, right? And that's the point that I want to make today. I'm so grateful to have seen them. I haven't seen them in a few months, which is extra long for us, right? So we finally had our family dinner and I'm feeling really good because I gathered with these people whom I love and who love me, right? And as a result, let me share what happens. If you don't know, what happens when you're feeling, when you're around people that you love, right? Whether it's familial, friendship, or a romantic relationship, right? Oxytocin is released in your brain. And oxytocin is the love hormone. Dopamine is also released in your brain. And dopamine is also a feel-good hormone. Your body goes into relaxation response or it amps up into relaxation response. And you just start to feel good, right? You just feel good. And this improves your immune system. This improves your health. So I just got home and it was, I'm still a, a little high from my family gathering. And, uh, you know, as we say goodbye, we hugged and kissed. I hugged and kissed everyone. And that really made me feel good. You know, hugs have been scarce or scarce in this pandemic. And I feel like I got a good dose today. So I just want to remind you that hugs are healing and to perhaps be open for them because they are they're not only good for your soul, they're actually good for your brain and they're actually good for your physiology. They're good for your health. So be sure to hug someone today um, or as soon as possible. And um, oh, I'm reminded of a study that I saw where uh, hugs are actually required for our good health. And I don't remember the details of the story, forgive me, but I remember that we need at least four hugs a day for basic well-being and eight hugs a day in order to feel really, really good. So hug someone today, right? And count them. Make sure you get your quota in. So I hope this serves you and um, hug someone, okay? And uh, I'll look forward to seeing you again in the next video. And until then, I'll see you in the gap. Namaste. Mm-hmm.